left who's got total and complete confidence in uh, herself and her job. And then we've got Butterscotch, good boy, who's kind of this Everyone, but he's not ever sure he's doing the right thing. Yeah. So, what constitutes a really good lead dog? What? Well, I mean, definitely a dog that knows what you're asking him. I mean, but, you know, it's not always the fastest dog. It's really a dog who uh, looks to you to work as a team, you know? Because that dog knows that they're up front in control of the, the whole front of the team, but then I'm in the back here kind of telling her what I see and what needs to happen next. And they're always up there constantly waiting for me to tell them to go faster, to go slower, to take a left, to take a right, to, to stop. I mean, it's basically a constant communication. And even through non-communication. Mm -hmm. Talking to them, and so through that, they know that they're kind of on the right track, doing the right thing, and uh -huh. they just put their heads down and go. Yeah. I think what what makes people wonder is that human beings don't have this drive and this absolute and utter dedication that that dogs do. And so when a when a human being sees this, you know, where a dog can just trot for, you know, seven, eight hours straight and look back at you like, all right, well that was that was good, boss. <laughs> I think not very many people can can put themselves through those rigors. I mean, we physically could, mm -hmm. but mentally we tell ourselves we can't because we've gotten away from, you know, being the tough biological beings that we really are, you know. Most of us are used to getting in a car and driving for, you know, a mile instead of walking. You know, we don't have the time anymore and it's a rush, rush society. Whereas back in the day, I mean, people could do anything physically that they wanted to. I think that's some of the miscommunication of our sport is that people just can't fathom that these dogs can do what they do. And whereas we see it and we, I've actually never even pushed this, this dog team as hard as I know it can, you know, because it boggles my mind of what they, what they can do.